Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Drew and today I'm here to show you my July design team project for Nevermore Creations 17, Lindsay Zinor, and it is based on her kit, Sunny Days. So the uh, journal is five and a half inches wide and eight and a half inches tall. I've zigzagged around the edges and um, it's a five hole pamphlet stitch and the spine has been reinforced with TVAC. Um, let's see, there are 74 total pages and just the one signature. There's 47 tags and journal cards and two or three small notebooks and then several places for tuck spots and so forth. I've used coffee dyed paper, stenciling and stamping, etc. Okay, and then I have used a hand dyed seam binding closure and this is one of the images from the kit and uh, this is just some scrapbook paper I had I believe it's bow bunny and it's um, all sunflower themed I've created a pocket here for you to tuck things into also a pocket here with a little tag Done some stitching and I also hand dyed some cheesecloth and put that on there. Some sewing and so forth. Okay. There's lots of journaling space in here. Okay. First we have a pocket and uh, this is my little note to you as your bookmaker. And then this is from the kit as well, this library card. And then these are just some things that I've tucked in for interest. This is a page from the kit. This is a little tuck spot here. Maybe I should take something out to kind of show you where the tuck spots are. Okay. Okay, this is uh, from the kit. Stenciling, and I've stitched on some leaf trim. This page is from the kit. This is from a magazine, and then uh, this this tag is not from the kit. I have used some other artists' work in here as well, and I will list them all down below with a link to their shops. This is from the Bow Bunny paper, just a little tag. And then this is from the kit. as is this page. It's a beautiful, bright, and sunny kit. Love all the sunflowers. And then this is a um, dictionary page, and uh, I picked it because it has the word sunflower on it, but I think it must be on the other part. It's an Edith Holden page. This is some paper that I found that I've had for years and years, and I just found it and pulled it out. Thought it was appropriate, some ferns and flowers. And we have a little paper clip with a sunflower charm. This is some scrapbook paper. And then this is a kit from the, uh, excuse me, a page from the kit. And I've added a little fold out for journaling and with a pocket behind with another little sunflower stamp and a little fold out for journaling. Okay, this is, uh, this is also from the kit, both of these. This is the lined paper that you saw earlier and I tore it to make a pocket. And this is some of the Bow Bunny paper. This is from the kit. And this is from the kit. This is from the kit. Book page. Some uh, Another sunflower stamp. And then I've sewn on a side pocket. Uh, this one is from the kit. And then I have tucked in some more 
in here that are not from the kit. Now, like I said, I'll link those below. Uh, this is a page from the kit, as is the tag. This is really nice. I printed this out on several of the backs of the uh, kit pages. It is, as I said before, it is part of the kit as well, but it's uh, it really makes for some nice lined paper. This image. Okay, and then here I've created a pocket for you to put something into, and then another pocket here with a little bit of digital paper that I have folded up and stuck in here for more journaling. This is another this is another page from the kit. You see that? And then I have created a floating pocket. I've attached it here, but of course you can move it anywhere you'd like to provide extra journaling on the back of that. And then this is another journaling card from the kit. You can also journal on the back of that. And I'll put that back in later. Okay. Um, I've used some paper for some other kits as well, and I will link those down below as also. And this is paper from the kit that I've created an envelope for the center of the signature. And then this is this is from the kit. This is probably my favorite image from the kit, and I've just reduced it in size to make a little spot to tuck the envelope flap into. Okay, and it's a little tuck spot here. And the other side of that kit page, a couple more punched tags that I've added in here. There's that beautiful page again and that image again. I love it. Now, one of the tags I created, it's not this one, but I'll show you when we get to it. This is a handmade tag. And I think it's maybe this one? Yes. <laughs> this is a little tag that I've created with a, a little pocket on the side and inside is a did I put anything in there? No, I didn't put anything in there. So that's for you to slide in maybe some secret journaling. Okay, this is a page from the kit and this is from the kit as well as is the journaling card and then I've created a little shaker. Beautiful birds. And this is from the kit as well. Journaling on the back. And then this is an envelope that I created with some of the bow bunny paper. And then this is from the kit as well. And there's a tuck spot here. Okay. And also, if you open up the envelope, then there's space in there for you to put something in that you'd like to put in there. And we just clipped it over the edge. <laughs> I'm trying to go a little faster than usual because I I know that I get I get uh, tired watching long videos, and I'm sure other people do as well. And I have found that I have a tendency to make long videos, so I'm trying to speed it up a little bit. Um, okay, this is also from the kit. And um, I just created a little collage here at the top to pull it out. And then another little journaling card. That one is not from this kit. But this is that beautiful paper again that is from the kit and another kit page and this is a piece of uh, embellishment from the kit page and I just tore it out and then made it into a little tuck spot and added two of the little tickets from the kit in here and also 
this journaling card. Okay, and then over here I've used a glassine bag to make a staggered, uh, a group of staggered pockets. There's, I, this is just a collage element here that I put on the front. And then you have a pocket here. The journaling card. And then this is a piece of scrapbook or paper out of a pad. And I fold it up and put in there. And then this, this beautiful image is also from the kit. And I've lined it with some coffee dyed paper so that you can journal on the back. And then behind, and I dropped my little butterfly I had, behind the bag is also another tuck spot for you to put something secret in back there. Okay, more of the Edith Holden. And this is just a little collage tuck spot that I put at the top. And then this is from the uh, Bow Bunny paper. Some more of the lined paper from the kit. This is my favorite. <laughs> Beautiful page. And then this is also a tuck spot. And another journaling card from the kit. The graph paper is from Seneca Pond. And another page from the kit. The doily. And that is the end. I'm going to put this back here. And I will also have a, I usually tuck a business card in the back here. I didn't have one ready, but there will be one attached. And then for the back, I used um, half of one of the kit pages to make the back. But a beautiful kit, very versatile, very much um, for summer journaling. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, um, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Um, also, I would love it if you would subscribe. And um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.